profit on. One hundred to two forty voltage, three point five amp power supply output, twelve volts, not the typical five volts you see in bit axes normally. Fifteen amps, one hundred and eighty watts, Intertech four zero zero seven two zero two. Not a typical barrel connector utilized here. Do not touch terminals when power on and remove this before use. Okay, don't touch it. I hope you listen. This is officially the biggest mini Bitcoin miner. Open sourced Bitcoin mining hardware, open sourced Bitcoin mining software. This is the Zyber 8S with a whopping 6.4 terahash per second of Bitcoin mining power. This is half of an Antminer S9 utilizing a dual phase power supply. This is a copper aluminum hybrid cooler with a graphene coating and a dual fan cooling system. You see a beefy fan here on the front of the heatsink and on the bottom side, another fan. The PCB has been reinforced with six layers. Comes with this nifty case and it's put together from the factory and they've even upgraded the display, making it bigger compared to normal bit axis to match more appropriately with just how big this is. I love that they also ship you the correct power cable. You'd be surprised how often that just doesn't happen. This is very powerful. I am so excited to plug this in, which, hey, by the way, I'm Bosk. You're on the Bosk on YouTube channel. I've been spending years building out my own Bitcoin and crypto mining farm. And I, I love all this stuff. Uh, obviously, I mainly deal with big mining rigs, but these mini miners are so freaking cool. I can't help but just pick them up and review them here on the tube. It's an absolute blast. Check out your odds to hit a Bitcoin block solo mining. It's sololuck.com. This ain't nad, bro. We made this and I'm so proud of it. I think it's the coolest and best and most technical Bitcoin solo mining calculator. I'm not here to throw shade. It's just something that we personally spent a lot of time on. And man, does it get me juiced up when I run the data and I see I've got a real tangible chance to be the next person to solve a Bitcoin block with a mini Bitcoin miner later. And let me show you what 6.4 terahash per second looks like. It's less than a one in one million chance every day to hit a Bitcoin block. And to put that into perspective, that is great. You have a one in 2,559 chance over the next year. This information is updated in real time. Let's compare that to a Bitax Gamma. It's a one in 5.5 million chance daily and a one in 15,000 chance per year. As you have a higher hash rate, you have a higher chance of hitting a Bitcoin block. And the current block reward is 3.125 Bitcoin. That's worth a whopping $300,000. This gives me a tangible shot at that. Multiple mini Bitcoin miners have hit Bitcoin blocks with hash rates a fraction, truly a small fraction of this. And we're still closer to three years than two years out from the next Bitcoin halving. My thought is, I would love and it would be incredible if this could hit a Bitcoin block before the next halving and turn several hundred dollars into several hundred thousand dollars. Actually, f that to turn it into three Bitcoin. And now you're talking. So round shape, not round shape. It's just that simple. Plug that in. You can just tell the way this thing fires up. It's not messing around. My initial impressions are the fit and finish of this is just top notch. This is the biggest and baddest mini Bitcoin miner that's ever been created. And we've reviewed multiple bit axes and mini Bitcoin miners from Tiny Chip Hub over the last several months. They're out of HK. They follow through on all their orders. And if you like this content and you want to support them for open sourcing this, you want to support us for making this content, please use our affiliate link and more importantly, use our code that's down in the video description below to save some coin. So this is gonna be a typical Bidax setup. They renamed it to Zyber, but it uses the Bidax user interface. So you can do this on your phone. You can do this on your computer. Whatever can connect to something with Wi-Fi. Shortly after connecting, you can see that it has generated captive.apple.com and that will prompt me 
the network configuration. So here, my network is called Planetary Fortress. Inputting my SSID, or Wi-Fi network name, and then my Wi-Fi password, I click save, it says, hey, good job, you saved, and then I will click restart. So we can see that the screen information is rotating here. And I logged into my router to get my IP address, but I didn't even have to because the screen will show or simply put, tell me that. Uh, so the information that I'm really looking for here is going to be 192.168.7. I think that said 180, and it did. Three lines, pool settings. Now I'm going to put in my Bitcoin mining address dot worker name. I'll simply just call this the Zyber 8S. And I think it's solo.ckpool.org. Looks right. Now you may say, why are you using ckpool? Thought you were gonna make a node guide on how to set up your own Bitcoin node and your own mining pool instance and then truly be decentralized Bitcoin mining. Oh, oh, we are. It's coming soon. I'm so excited for it. I think it's gonna be the ultimate guide. Make sure to subscribe, be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, I will absolutely be moving from the public uh, solo mining pool of CK pool to my own private instance of public pool. This thing is toasty. toasty. The Zyberatus by TCH, Tiny Chip Hub. Man, this thing is cool to see in person. I saw some early leaks of it and I was intrigued. It does have some stiff competition. The best competition for this device would simply be the Nerd QX++. Check out our dedicated video review on that. This comes in at a higher price point. After discount code, it's gonna drop at sub $800. But yeah, it's a nearly $800 mining rig. Good bit more expensive than the next closest competitor. But man, I can't say it enough. This thing is beefy. And best in class mining hash rate for what it is. But that comes at a price, 140 watts. That's a tangible electricity amount. Not that big of a deal. Depending on your electricity rate, you know, 25 cents a day, 50 cents a day if you're in like California or Germany. So still small, still something you could plug into essentially any outlet anywhere. Yes, it mines on Wi-Fi. Yes, you can set it up with, you know, even just something as simple as your phone. I wouldn't call it quiet. I would definitely say this has a moderate noise amount. It's not something I'd want to sleep next to unless I wanted a noise machine. If this was right next to me at my computer desk, it would bother me. But if it was in the corner of the room that I work in, and let's say the room's like a, I don't know, a 14 by 14 or something like that, then it would be no big deal. I don't know why the screen's off though. Maybe it just times out, button one, nothing, button two. All right, seems like I turned the screen back on. Button three. All right, button three, cycle screens. Button two turns the screen on and off, or it resets it. Per the dashboard, and what it says there, it looks like I've basically just restarted it. Okay, button one. So it looks like button one just takes the screen the other way. All right, so we'll pay attention to these ASIC chip temperatures and go from there. Gotcha. I'm trying to use these to make some cooler content. I know I look like a freaking dweeb. I don't care though. Doing it for the tube. Sometimes I need both hands for mining rig reviews and deployments and stuff like that. And, and, I, and I don't have them. Where's my alarm? It's holding the camera, dude. This thing's really impressive. I'm serious. But I am turned off by the price point, right? It ate $800. And look, I'm all for open source everything. Absolutely. But at $800, you're, you're and, and you know, it does come into under that with the discount code, but you're only a couple hundred dollars away from a Mini 3 that can do like 28 and a half terahash a second at 400 watts, uh, which would be more hash rate for the power consumption and not much more money. Oh, I actually have it over there. And it's quieter than this. This thing is very cool and I'm, I'm very impressed with it and it's absolutely an engineering feat. And it's cool to see them continue to develop, iterate, and again, this is open source stuff. I cannot just celebrate that enough. Bitcoin's a trillion dollar asset, nearly $2 trillion. Puts out nearly $50 million in emissions or mined Bitcoins per day or you know, coins out to miners. 
And I think Bitcoin's here to stay. And it's only gonna become more valuable on average year over year moving forward. So 800 bucks and you hit a block and earn three Bitcoin, then maybe that's, that's, that's credible. I, I've gotta say like in pictures and in, in video and, and maybe my close ups will help, but I don't think they quite do it justice. Like this thing is just very cool looking and just absolutely would make a statement on your desk, in your office, your garage, your mining farm, wherever you want to put it. And it doesn't mean that you need to be making a statement to someone else who cares what the f other people think. But it's more like you walk in, you're like, damn, that thing's cool. That's what I think about. I want to walk in and I want to look at everything I have and be like, damn, that thing's cool. That thing's nice. I know that they've been building these and working hard to scale. So one of the big benefits of these units would be a quick turnaround time from ordering to receipt. If Bitcoin just picks up like say 10, especially like 20, 30 grand in price, you're gonna find that it's like impossible to order a BitX Gamma, to order a Zyber, a Nerdax, the other mini Bitcoin miners from some of the other manufacturers. And at that point, this would not only fly off the shelves like everything else, it'll probably see a price increase along with the other hardware that's just so hard to find and source. We are so close to Bitcoin mining hardware just skyrocketing in price from small miners to full-size miners. Also, where is my screen? Where are you, screen? Okay, per the dashboard, it's crashing right now. Big hash rate dip and then back up. I wonder if this thing's getting too hot. I'm gonna bump the fan speed up to 100%. Power went from like 136-ish watts up to about 141 watts. ASIC temp 50C and falling. Voltage regulator temp at 57 Celsius and falling. How do they achieve such a high hash rate? Well, where do you think the eight comes from? There's eight Bitcoin mining ASIC chips in here. Similar in design to say like the Ocho uh, bit axes and nerd axes that have been developed and released previously. We've got climbing hash rate and falling temperatures. It's good to see. Overall, this seems like a great product. It's a very nice fit and finish. Uh, I have one of the earliest productions they've ever made. Uh, so I don't want to be too critical on maybe something that needs a bit of a firmware update. If that's just the issue. I, I don't know why the screen basically seems to time out. Let me push the let's go that way button. Because we know what the buttons do now. And I'll just so you can see that it's, it's on and mining, so I guess the screen just times out. I don't know if that's a bug or a feature, right? There's definitely some refinement uh, that could happen here. You can see we're getting some particles in the screen uh, multiple times. Uh, but I believe this is their first foray into this newer screen. It's not the typical screen that you see on BitX Gammas. So that's required dev work. And there's a cool novelty factor here. I wish that it wouldn't cycle the screens, like I could get it to stick on one if I wanted to. And I know you could say, oh, you're being a little nitpicky, but like, this is a consumer product, man. If I cared about performance over aesthetics, I'd buy a full-size Bitcoin miner, like an S21 XP. Like I just bought several of those to expand my Bitcoin mining farm. When it comes to mini Bitcoin miners, I care all about the fit and finish and features. The more features that can be added here, right? like a Bitcoin price ticker on the screen instead, I would love that. That would be sweet. That would mean that I put this on my desk and it's also a Bitcoin price ticker now. That's not too hot, so that's good. Looks like as the temperature on the ASIC chips have, has dropped some, it's compensated uh, with the power, so basically like another five watts to cool it, but they're running cooler, so now they're consuming less uh, energy, which has basically negated the entire power increase to spin the fans faster. Which, to put it simply, if you don't care about the noise, means that this is the right decision, right? So we have cooler ASIC chips, which means we should be, uh, one, it's just better for the chips in general, but we also should be hashing at a higher hash rate, and we don't even end up spending any more electricity when you net everything together. The screen's cool, but don't feel like all the bugs are worked out on it. I am stoked to add this to the mini Bitcoin miner collection, but I've got to say that for me personally, I would rather just buy Bitax Gamma from Tiny Chip Hub or buy the Nerd QX++ from Power Mining instead for several hundred dollars less and it hashes at nearly five terahash a second. This thing with BM1370 chips, basically the latest generation Bitcoin mining chips, oh my gosh.
with a heat sink like this, it might be able to push 10 terahash a second. It'll basically be a, a Bitmain Antminer S9 that runs at like one tenth the power and is the size of maybe your hand, if you have the same size hand as me. So hey, I'm Vosker on the Vosker on YouTube channel. If you like this stuff, I hope you subscribe and stick around. We've got some even crazier Bitcoin mining hardware on the horizon. So I hope you subscribe. And we're gonna close this video out in style. 10 seconds, tails. Our CBO, our Chief Bitcoin Officer here at Voscoin. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good one. Keep the faith. Stay strong. You got this. And, and, and manifest and channel that good energy. I truly believe that I'm going to hit a Bitcoin block solo mining with a mini Bitcoin miner. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yes. I, I'm starting to have a lot of mini Bitcoin miners, but I'm going to do it. Hey, you want to buy a mining rig? Do you want a pretty good price on it and pretty fast shipping? Then you may be looking for ASIC Marketplace. Click our link in the video description below to not only support our channel, but support yourself with the coupon code we've got right next to it.